Hi, um, DIY Doctor is installing a heating mat, an underfloor heating system for a timber floor. Uh, this one's called a Devi mat. And at various stages, you can go and watch the video on how that's done, but at various stages during the, uh, the operation, during the installation, we need to check the resistance um, throughout the heating element so that we make sure we haven't broken anything, we haven't damaged any cables or whatever. So we should be getting a constant reading all the way through the operation. Now, measuring that resistance is something that um, you do without kind of thinking about, but so, so we just thought we'd do a very short video on Ohm's Law which is how resistance is worked out in electric cables. Um, Ohm's law itself is very a simple mathematical operation. It's the voltage squared divided by the power of the circuit, and that is plus or minus 2%. So whatever you get the answer, if your reading is within plus or minus 2%, you're correct. In this situation, we have got a 700 watt heating mat, it's 100 watts per square meter and, uh, on top of a wooden floor underneath um, ceramic tiles and the, so that is the power, 700 watts. Our voltage is 230 watts, so voltage squared is 230 times 230 which comes to 59, uh, 52,900. We divide that by the power which is 700 watts and we should get a reading of 75.52 ohms, plus or minus 2%. Okay, so that is what um, we should get on our heating mat. The power is given to us on the instructions of the, of the uh, Devi mat itself, and we know the voltage in the house. So I'm going to turn around, and if the video, if the camera can follow me, we have here a, um, a multimeter. Uh, we've got it set to resistance, to ohms. And these two cables here are our live and our neutral from our element. So the element runs all underneath the floor that I'm standing on and comes up here. You can see from the writing on the wall, we've tested it all the way through. And we should be getting a reading of, as you saw just now, 75.52 ohms. So if the camera zooms in onto that multimeter, you can indeed see that we have a reading of somewhere between 74, 76 ohms. So an average of 75 ohms all the way through that mat. So we are indeed correct. We haven't damaged the mat underneath. We've got the same reading now as we had when the box was delivered. We text tested the resistance then. We laid it on the floor, we tested it again, we covered it in self-leveling floor screen, we tested it again. Then we laid the floor tiles on with the adhesive and the floor tiles, we've tested it again. We've got the same reading all the way through and we know what that reading should be because of Ohm's Law. Ohm's Law from DIY Doctor.